everybody, and welcome to another edition of The Magic Show. This week we're back from vacation and ready to dive straight into a core set that is leaps and bounds better than its predecessor. Let's go! So last time we talked, a few cards were unknown to us. Let's start at the top. Now this little review will feature 20 of my favorite reprints and 15 of my favorite new cards, mostly in Wooburg order, but honestly no real order beyond these are just some of my favorites, alright? Jeez. First up, we'll start with the reprints, and wow, there's some sweet reprints in this bad boy. M13 is chock full of far more interesting reprints. How about them Battle of Wits, eh? How about them? Because winning with Battle of Wits is the best thing ever not close. Have you seen this SCG Live vid? Let's watch. Okay, intuition for... Is he gonna go get sneak attacks now? Or... Show oh, show oh, wow, yeah, that's, that's so much better. So, wait, if, so if Kenny has Battle of Wits, Kenny he wins. He just wins, yeah. Wow, this is insane. Alright, I mean, it's, it's not... Dude, if this really happens, this would be like such a sick game. Yeah, this would actually just be the sickest game. Yeah. He's, he's just going to show and tell right now, right? I, I think Kenny's bluffing. He's like, yep, you got me. But in reality, he's just like, cha-ching. Let's see. What? Uh, no way. Uh, I, don't th I don't think so. I, I don't think it's Battle of the Wits. If it is, it would just be too insane. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's <laughs> insane! That was actually the sickest thing ever! <laughs> Dude, no, man. <laughs> that look is priceless right wow. there. Wow. <laughs> is it, 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 it turn? <laughs> just, just, yeah. Are you done? Can, 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 can he just ask, are you done? <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, man. That gets me every time. That face. That face. Face, you just gotta love Kenny Mayer. Guy is an absolute master and doesn't even flinch when his opponent plays show and tell. Unreal. Obviously, the Magic TCG Reddit group immediately pictured a guy at the pre release like a boss, witzing it up. Crazy. But Mutilate? Freaking Mutilate? This card hasn't been featured in Standard for a decade. And did we talk about Liliana the Freaking Realms last week? I think we did. This card is going to be doing some business in standard. Black Sun Zenith is one thing, but Mutilate? Someone at Wizards really, 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 really wants Mono Black Control to happen. But you know what it doesn't have? At least, not yet. The deck does not have this card. Imagine if Liliana's first ability was plus one, lose a life and draw a card. Oh man, would the praises be sung about that girl? She would be an instant hit, probably one of the top five walkers ever, but whatever. Give us black card draw that is consistent and does not take a card, like Sign of Blood, which is also another awesome reprint, and we will talk. Next up, hell yeah, Sarah Avenger, this girl is awesome. Now, she isn't quite as awesome as R&D thought she was the first go-around. I mean, they did make her the top eight states extended art foil, usually reserved for the format's all-stars, but damn it, she is great. A pseudo-reprint happened with Master of the Pearl Trident, who I'm ecstatic also brought with him Merfolk of the Pearl Trident. They finally, finally fixed Lord of Atlantis, and a fine card it is. This means Legacy Merfolk gets to go nutso, and Blue Aggro will see a nice resurgence. Omniscience is, by the way, hilarious. You realize that this is just Mox Lotus from Unhinged, right? I mean, it turns out that Infinite Mana is actually 7 blue, blue, blue. I don't know. And how about them rewinds? How about them rewinds? How about the... Alright, I'll stop, but still, I love that counter. Alright? Two words. The rest, baby. Yes, yes, hells to the yes. Black needs this spell, and badly. I guess it's known at this point, but let's just go ahead and call it. Despise is terrible. Or terrible, as Charles the Barkley likes to describe it. Ravnus Rats is an innocuous but very powerful reprint. Don't underestimate the power of the rats. And Shimmy Inspector, that's you. Boy, I haven't seen you in a coon's age. All the way from Future Sight, this boy needed haste then and he needs haste now, alright? I mean, just reprint him and make him a 1-1 or something. But without haste, I feel this guy will just do as much as he did the first go-round. You know? Now, Wits In gets a nod because that art and that flavor text, that art and that flavor text, y'all, for serious, sweet. Red features some sweet reprints. Yep, Hamlet Back Goliath is awesome. I love this guy. And Mog Flunkies, that guy hasn't seen standard play since 1998. Since 1998, son! And how's about a blast from 1999? Yep, straight from Mirage in 6th edition. Volcanic Geyser Returns. It's cool. It's cool, though. Don't worry. It still sucks and constructed. Bonfire the Dam says what's up. Speaking of what's up, how's them ground seals tasting, Snapcaster Mage? Yeah, yeah, you just you're just gonna beat me with angels and delvers anyway, aren't you? All right, fine, whatever. 
Query and Dryad look so sweet until you remember that Vapor Snag exists, and after that, Unsummon. Fine. But Ranker? Oh man, I didn't even get the touch on this one last time. Mother freaking Ranker, this card is sweet. Wow. Talk about a jolt of the freaking arm. This card is amazing, and I just can't believe we actually got it back in standard. Those Vapor Snags will have juicier targets now, unless those targets are hexproof. <laughs> but seriously, this card is unreal, and I'm ecstatic to see it return. Go, go, beats. The final few super sick reprints, Nickel Bola's Planeswalker Ob, but Acroma's Memorial used to be fifteen friggin' dollars until it just got reprinted. Door to Nothingness is a crazy fun Johnny special, and is that Gilded Lotus? You bet it is. Stuffy Doll is a terrific reprint, a fun and flavorful all-star. Tormod's Crypt is another attempt to stop the snapcasting frenzy that won't be dampered by such silliness as that. Now, on to the new cards. I just gotta talk about some of these. First, is Welkin Guide really not worth reprinting? I mean, it's a bird cleric, right? Is bird cleric just too far? I love the image of a battlefield eagle. Trust me, it looks cool as crap, but it just feels weird, all right? Next, I love Erase. Demystify isn't as powerful in the world of Rancor, but this is perfect. Faith's Reward is the second sunrise on crack we always wanted. Future combo deck, or just an incredibly sweet surprise at the end of your opponent's turn? Oh, man, you wrapped my board and killed my planeswalker. Oops. War Falcon is a super sweet card. I've always loved a one white mana 2 1 from Savannah Lions on up, and this guy is pushed in just the right ways. I particularly love how it will exist alongside Elite Vanguard for three months. Next up is Arctic Aven, and I'm really just talking about the entire cycle of, quote, will be insane when Ravnica gets here, unquote, creatures. While not constructed worthy, that one honor goes to Flinthoof Boar, this guy is nuts and limited. I mean, actually nutty, squirrely, nutty nuts. You know what I'm saying? Nutty nut nuts. Spell Twine, meanwhile, has to be the biggest kick in those nuts in a limited game. So I'll take this removal spell from my graveyard and this removal spell from your graveyard, and here's your news. You'll enjoy filling it tight around your neck. You like that? And just go ahead and jump off. Switcheroo is, after a sweet name, Watsy's way of saying sorry for mind control. Now you have to give them a Kraken Hatchling for their sick bomb rare instead. Such power downs. <laughs> yeah. Me, I love a Void Stalker. This guy is super interesting. Basically, removal for a while, sort of. A weird, yet really perfect design for me. Blood Hunter Bat brings back one of my favorite creatures, Blind Hunter, to standard. While it doesn't get that effect twice, for that you got to make it multicolored, it is still ripe with value, and I love it. Disciple of Bolas is, if you haven't caught on, pretty freaking good with Exalted. Guess I'll get those sweet boosts and draw infinite? Sounds good, man. Momentous fall, this ain't. Just wanted to touch quickly on how sick public execution is from a flavor standpoint. Yeah, you see your buddy there? He's friggin' dead, and you might be next. Power lowered. Awesome. Moving on, talk about your red overruns. Cleaver Riot is a nasty one. Easy to splash and quick to bash someone's face in. This card does some work finishing an opponent off. Craterize is the awkward Stone Raid reprint of the set. Now, Abyssin Restored had demolished with some weirdo art, and now we have Craterize. Stone Rain is the perfect card at a red and 2.5 colorless mana. At 3, it's just too annoying with mana dorks in the format. Oh, well. I love how Rummaging Goblin is just Watsy saying, yep. Red card draw, doing this, and that's it. Wonderfully simple and effective. But that Thunder Maw Hellcat, seriously, Wizards? Seriously? This card? Holy cow. Talk about your Red Bane Slayers. Now, I had jokes with multiple Watsy guys about printing a Red Bane Slayer, and here we are. Compare quickly to Rorix. Less mana cost. Just as hasty. Just as flyy. 5-5, five, five, check. But that's on all, folks. How about that quote, we know how annoying Lingering Souls is, unquote, ability. Doesn't deal it to your flyers, doesn't bother with ground pounders, because those guys aren't blocking this guy. This guy is certifiably redonk, and we'll be seeing him on the top tables ASAP. Now, a quick and final note on Timber Pack Wolf. Now, I wish this were the second card ever printed with the Relentless Rats ability to put any number of them in your deck. Go, go, Grizzly Bears! Would be hilarious to see that deck in action, and you know somebody would take it to FNM every single week it was legal. All right, guys, so that's a quick rundown of some of my favorite reprints and new goodies from M13. This week I'll be recording a complete set review with Brad Nelson, and that should just be a ton of fun. So until next time, Magic players, this is Evan Irwin. Tapping the cards so you don't have to.
like the fatties.